So here we have another traditional knife video. This is going to be on the GEC Great Eastern Cutlery number 18 Beagle. Um, the number 18 um, <coughs> frame by Great Eastern Cutlery has come in two versions. Uh, the Beagle, which is the one here, and uh, I believe the first production of the 18 was the Coyote, which uh, the Coyote is a um, single blade, um, same frame, but has a worn cliff blade. So let's take a look here. It is a Tibute Cutlery, number 18, Beagle Pattern. There you go, classic knives. So you have 1095 carbon steel, which is common on Great Eastern Cutlery. Pretty much all they use now. Titusville, Pennsylvania. And here we go on the top of the tube. If it wants to focus. So, number 18, 2, indicating the um, <clears throat> the blade, the main blade, 2 indicating the number of blades, and 16 indicating that it was made in 2016. And the cover material is a runaway beagle. So, I've actually already used this knife, but I decided to put it back in the tube just to show how it came in case you're not familiar with uh, the packaging in Great Eastern Cutlery. So the knife comes in wax paper and with this particular one you also get a pin Tibute Cutlery Beagle with the little beagle on there. See, Sometimes uh, depending on the model and uh, if it's not sure how they determine if they give them a pin or not, but this one came with a pin. Put the pin back, and of course it comes with comes wrapped in the paper. And here we go. So the number 18 <coughs> Beagle, and this one is in Runaway Beagle. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, it says Runaway Beagle on the top. Yeah, Runaway Beagle Acrylic. So let's take a look at that. So I, I when I saw this, I really liked this. Uh, this is actually the first Grace and Cutlery I bought. I actually have a few others now. Quickly became addicted to buy Grace and Cutlery knives. Um, yeah, you got some black, some oranges, some whites, a little bit of browns. Very, very pretty acrylic. And you have the, uh, I think it's, they call it the Hound's Tooth Shield. So let's take a look here. There's the main blade. Nice finishing. Uh, Graves and Cutlery uh, finishing is just superb. Um, it says Tibute Cutlery right there on the blade. And then Grey's Eastern Cutlery on the other side uh, TIW for Titusville Ironworks. And then the secondary blade is a little uh, sheep's foot. And that has two in 2016 on it. And then one and two on the other side to make the full number. So one, eight, two, two, 2016 for the full model number. So, yeah, the number 18 is a <clears throat> relatively small knife, uh, you know, even for traditionals. Uh, let's see, the main blade here is actually only two inches. And the overall length, when opened, it says, just reading some specs here, uh, 4.75 inches. And then close length is 2.75 inches, so yeah, it's very small. Um, you have nickels, <coughs> silver bolsters. 
uh, brass liners. The weight comes in at 1.4 ounces, so it's very light. But yeah, it's a very small, very small knife, even for a lot of traditionals. Uh, I didn't realize it was that small until I got it. I didn't look at the specs on the site. I just looked at the acrylic, which, uh, yeah, it's just hard to say no to that. Now, it comes in different um, versions of uh, covers. Let's see, what did they have? They had, uh, I believe, green spruce jig bone, coco bolo. What else did they have? Canvas micarta. I think they had red linen micarta. And they had some special oil wood. I think uh, it was like something used in, I forgot what it, what it was used for. There was a video on it somewhere. Um, but this is the acrylic. Now, fit and finish is great, you know, there's very well finished. Can't really tell much uh, difference in the transitions there. So, 1095 will rust and patina. I haven't really carried it that much, and I've been very careful to wipe down the blade when I have carried it. Not a very, um, Tough pull, but it, it's very, it's got, you know, that great eastern cutlery quality where it's got very nice walk and talk, but the pull weight is, is very light. Um, not sure, I, I maybe put it like at a <clears throat> four, four or five, but it is definitely a light knife and Secondary sheep's foot is actually a <clears throat> got a similar pull at least in the first yeah the half stop and yeah these have half stops just like uh, those greedy and cutlers do which is very nice let's uh, compare it to another greedy and cutlery a Tom's Choice Barlow so that gives you an idea of size. So you can definitely tell that, you know, Tom's Choice Barlow is not that big either. It's built on a 15 frame, I believe, right? Uh, yeah, 15 frame. So it's not very large to begin with. So the 18 frame, or the Beagle, is definitely small. That's it next to Tom's Choice Barlow, so smaller blade. Smaller overall profile, and not as thick either, of course. Tom Swift Barlow is also a two blade knife. This one has the pen blade. <clears throat> there is a uh, liner in between, so yeah, there are two springs. Got that, uh, just everything's flush. The shield is completely flush. Uh, you know, if you're not a familiar with some cutlery, you just took this out here to a <clears throat> case mini trapper. So even next to the mini trapper, it's, uh, pretty small. Not sure if it, I don't have a teeny trapper. It might be close to a teeny trapper's uh, size. So I'm not sure the dimensions on a T-Trapper, but here's a mini trapper. Give you a comparison. Uh, overall, it's a it's a neat knife. You know these uh, traditionals, especially from Grady's and Cutlery. You know they're not the fast tactical. You know uh, crazy frame lock knives with you know super steels, but they are neat to admire, and they're just, you know, there's a, Great Eastern Cutlery has a way of manufacturing a knife where it's, you know, all hand done, um, and they're just, you know, the quality of these is just great. I mean, case knives are still good, but 
compared to just the walk and talk, the overall just fit and finish of the Graveson Cutlery and you know, just uh, that acrylic is really neat. Of course these are going to be one of a kind because the acrylic pattern is going to be different. I mean even on the both sides they're, they're a little different. Now these uh, come in around was it 90 to 100 dollars uh, based on the uh, cover material. Um, I'm not sure if they have any of the Runaway Beagle acrylic left. But they, I think they have some of the other handle uh, covers left. But I think the Beagle is out of stock from where I've looked. Might be able to find one in the secondary market. Um, so pulls you have a nail neck here, so you don't have the long poles or anything, so you have simple nail neck on both blades. Neither of which are very hard to take out. That's a neat little uh, chief's foot too. It's small. It's even even smaller than the, uh, than the main blade here, the main drop point here. There's a drop point, spear point, kind of in between. This nice functional blade, but yeah, it's smaller. Yeah, you really can't, you can only really get three fingers on this, but you know, this isn't meant to be a heavy use knife. This is a nice traditional knife you'd drop in your pocket. Maybe just do a little bit of a light cutting test, but it's it's more to admire, I would say. Uh, there you go. And it's always neat to get the Great Eastern Cutleries in these neat cardboard tubes. So, there you go. Nice traditional knife. The Great Eastern Cutlery number 18 Beagle. If you have any questions, Feel free to leave them down in the comments, and uh, I'll probably be doing a few more traditionals as they come in. I have, I think, at least one coming in the mail soon. Northwoods. I'll probably be doing some more traditional knife videos because these are neat. I'll still do my modern knives, but these traditionals are really cool. And I really enjoy collecting them as well. So, again, thanks for watching.